Hey man, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode, I have got a bunch of stuff in the way here, uh, i.e. that stuff is firewood. Uh, I've, my log landing was filled up. I had to dump this kind of right in front of the bay doors. I've got something I need to get in that bay door and I need to make some firewood. So, I've got a couple of tools today. I've got my ported Steel MS440. If you like that saw and want to see it ran more, this video is for you. Also got my 61 slash 272. Uh, those two are direct competitors. Exact same weight, exact same power. It just delivers in a little bit different way, but I want to try both of those out. I think it was a little bit rich there. I'm gonna try to lean it out. Maybe we can get a little bit more speed out of it that way. felt much better. It must have just been a little bit rich there, but here again, the comparison, which one is actually faster? I think that's the deal. Uh, the 040 or the 440 was running a little bit rich, leaned it out. Now it starts cutting. Uh, it looks like faster. It's going to be faster in the big wood. Uh, is the deal that longer stroke gives it an advantage in the uh, in the bigger wood, but in the smaller wood, um, you know, 16, 18 inch rounds, the uh, 272 looks like it might have it at least for feel. Um, but there again, exact same weight, exact same uh, displacement, so very, very similar.
<laughs> uh, man, if you guys are having fun watching these 270cc ported chainsaws go to battle, man, hit that thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Lots of this uh, now and forever on man time.
Now, one thing I am noticing with the MS440, the oiler uh, is giving me almost the same problems that it was giving me on the clone 066 or 660, uh, where the adjustability is um, severely lacking, and it's, it's pretty hard to get to. Uh, it's up here a little ways, but yeah, it is It is opened up all the way, but it's like kind of locked up uh, When it gets real hot and it's not oiling as well as the 272 with it all the way open. So Something to note there. Let's do a quick gas tank check for each saw I'm way below half on that one and On this one this one has always kind of been known as being a little bit of a gas guzzler. Uh, about maybe a little bit more on that one, but I think I ran this one more than uh, the 272. So probably fuel consumption is about the same on both of them. Um, it's still just a real toss-up at this point. Let's uh, cut up some more firewood. I'm going to start off with the 272, and uh, we'll go from there. I think I've about got them tuned in just where I like them. The 440 still giving me a little bit of problems you saw there on the low end, but not too bad. All right. Just another man challenge out here in the bush. How quickly can you get your chain back onto your chainsaw? Let's see here. Start the clock and kick in the flame music.
last log of the day. Uh, let's see if the 440 has still got enough juice at the end of the day. I'm about uh, one and a half tanks in on this one, a full tank on the other one. Uh, the 272, the start stop switch quit working. When I went to hit stop, nothing happened. So we are down to one saw. We are still fairly sharp. Let's see how she goes. man well that was a full day battle of the 70 cc chainsaws man those two saws i'm still undecided i if given the chance to have either one of them um i i, I couldn't really decide they're they're neck and neck the uh the oiler and the clutch on the 272 now i've upgraded the clutch to that c-clip design uh, much better design on the clutch that oh or the 440 um Trying to get it to idle with the chain stopped was a little difficult. Might be because I over intaked the saw a little bit. I like my saws, uh, those 70cc saws, about 160, 160 for duration, uh, 80 degrees, you know, on the intake. So that makes them a little finicky uh, on the low end. Uh, but the clutch on the 272 Husqvarna was able to compensate. You know, it's a little bit better design. So uh, that and the oiler uh, was giving me problems on the 440 a little bit. But there you go. Um, the on-off switch on the 272 ended up quit working. Might have just had a wire come loose. Who knows? I'll dig into that in a uh, future video, maybe. But, uh, yeah, that was all of the big logs. Now it's a bunch of small chunks of firewood. And uh, this, is, this is my therapy. You want to get some good therapy, go out into the woods, find a nice, cozy, quiet spot, and run a chainsaw. Get out there. Have you some man time, too.